In this video, I will talk about elements. Statistics. All right, basically, there are four elements, All right? Every every problem in statistics can be decomposed into four, four different elements. The first one is known as the population. And is denoted by the following mathematical notation. It's, it's capital omega. And the second one is known as the sample. And is denoted by this notation, capital S. Right. And the third one is a parameter. And is denoted by this notation theta. And the fourth one is the estimate. Okay. And is denoted by theta and a hat on top of it. So people call this theta hat. This is theta, this is theta hat. Okay. And as I will explain in a minute what these are, these two are related to each other, the sample and the population are related to each other, and these two are related to each other too, the parameter and the estimate. Okay, so let me give you some, a couple of examples on, on these four elements of statistics. Right? The first example, Example one Okay, so in this example the population could be all men in the UK Okay and obviously there are millions of men in the UK, so, so the population is something you cannot access physically. It's impossible to contact every single person, every single man in the United Kingdom because there are so many. So, so the population is something you cannot usually access. The sample, sample is is a subset of the population, right? So, so instead of accessing all men in the UK, say suppose you select say hundred selected men in the UK. So, sample is 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 a subset of the population, and is something that you can access. Physically, right? Parameter. Parameter is something associated with the population, right? So, for example, The average height of all men in the UK. So once again, this is impossible to compute because there are millions of men in the UK. So you, know, you need to go out and measure their height individually, which you cannot do in practice. All right. So a parameter is, is, as I said, is, 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 is usually something you cannot estimate, you cannot quantify. Okay. 
estimate estimate is something you can quantify and in this case in this example it will be the average height So it's the average height of the 100 selected men. So, so estimate corresponds to the sample and the parameter corresponds to the population. All right, so, so, you can, so let me put like an arrow. You can see what I'm saying. These two are related, right? Because parameter is something associated with the po population, whereas Estimate is something that is associated with the, the sample. Okay, so this is example one. All right, let's, let's look at another second example. Mm -hmm. Example Example two, right? So in this case, uh, suppose once again that the population is that all men. in the UK, right? So once again, the population is something you cannot access, right? Sample is once again, say 100 selected men in the UK. Okay, parameter in this case let's suppose we want to find the average age of all men in the UK. So once again, this is impossible to quantify because there are so many men in the UK. So what you do is you, you just get an estimate of, of the parameter, which is the average age. So you just take the average of the 100 men that you selected, right? I mean the ages of the 100 men you selected. So once again the sample and the estimate are related, okay? And the population and the parameter are related. Okay, so both population and parameter are something that you cannot access, whereas the sample and the estimate is are something that you can access, right? So that completes this video, right? And in the next video, I shall talk about sampling, uh, right? Different ways of sampling in statistics.